hi viewers and students in the last class we have discussed central tendencies from statistics chapter and what are the usages of central tendencies were also discussed children let us recall what are the types of central tendencies okay very good they are mean it is also known as arithmetic mean or average and the second central tendency is mode and the third central tendency we discuss in our 10th class is median these are the three central tendencies in the last class we discussed first central tendency that is mean the mean of raw data is calculated and the mean of classified data was also calculated in our last class here how many methods do we have to calculate mean of classified data anybody of you say very good we have three methods to find the mean of classified data what are those three methods very good they are direct method the first one and the second one is assumed mean method and the third one is step deviation method in the last class we took a problem from 14.1 exercise and solved the classified data as mean by using direct method today class in today class let us discuss the second method of finding mean that is what is that very good that is the assumed mean method here let us start assumed mean method from formula what is the formula to calculate the mean of the classified data in assumed mean method let us see mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di by sigma fi this is the formula to calculate the mean of classified data in assumed mean method before solving any problem we have to understand the literal terms of the formula children what are the literal terms what are the terms in this formula very good a fi di these are the basic literal terms that we can see in the formula we have to understand these literal terms to solve the problems children let us see a a means it is nothing but assumed mean it is also known as arbitrary mean as usually we know fi it is nothing but frequency of the classes and di here di is the new term comparing to the last formula di is the new term what is di di is nothing but deviation deviation of assumed mean a from each mid value of the classes that means nothing but difference between xi and assumed mean of each classes so we write di is equal to xi minus a and we know sigma fi sigma fi means sum of frequencies or number of observation these are the explanation of literal terms and when we solve the problem we get the doubt what is assumed mean which value can be considered as assumed mean okay let us see assumed mean a is taken from one of the mid values of the classes first we write the classes and we write the mid values from those mid values one of the mid value is considered as assumed mean assumed mean is nothing but one of the mid values of the classes and di is nothing but xi minus a so by using this formula we can calculate the 
classify data as mean okay this is the common question that we get for two marks in our examination the question will be given like this write the formula to find the mean of classified data by using assumed mean method and explain terms in it when this question is given in the examination we have write we have to write the formula mean x bar is got a plus sigma fi di by sigma fi and we write a means assumed mean fi means frequency of the classes di means assumed mean deviation from each mid value that is di is equal to xi minus a and sigma fi means number of observations or sum of frequencies this is the answer for the two marks question okay children let us understand assumed mean method by taking an example let us take uh, the second question from 14.1 exercise here the question is given as consider the following observations of daily wages of 50 workers of a factory here the table is given in the first row daily wages in rupees and the second row number of workers here some workers take daily wage between 200 to 250 rupees some workers take daily wage between 250 to 300 and remaining are 300 to 350 350 to 400 and some workers take daily wage between 400 to 450 rupees in the second row number of workers here are 12 workers who take daily wage between 200 to 250 rupees and 14 workers who take daily wage between 250 to 300 rupees and the remaining are 8 to 6 step this is the table we have to find the daily mean wages of 50 workers let us solve this problem by using assumed mean method okay children when we solve the same problem by using assumed mean method we take the same table in vertical manner in the first column let us take daily wages in rupees that is the class interval we can write in the first column 200 to 250 class 250 to 300 300 to 350 350 to 400 and 400 to 450 this is the first column you can see the same thing on the screen in the second column number of workers that is nothing but frequency f5 okay the corresponding frequency of each classes are the corresponding frequency to 200 to 250 class is 12 and the remaining are 14 8 6 10 okay children what is the formula to calculate the mean assumed mean method very good mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma f i d i by sigma f here a means assumed mean what is assumed mean children assumed mean nothing but one of the mid values of the classes so we have to find the mid values of each class so third column let us take mid value x i actually let us recall what is mid value of the class very good lower limit plus upper limit of the class by 2 now we have to find the mid value of each class what is the first class here 200 to 250 what is the lower limit very good 200 what is the upper limit 250 very good lower limit plus upper limit by 2 that means 200 plus 250 by 2 that is 450 by 2 when we cancel we get 225 this is the mid value of the first class let us take the mid value of the second class what is the second class children 250 to 300 lower limit plus upper limit by 2 250 plus 300 that means 550 by 2 when we cancel we get 275 the remaining mid values of classes are 325 the 75 and the 425 these are the mid values of each class from these mid values we have to take one mid value as assumed mean small a which mid value can be considered as assumed mean this is the question ok children whatever the mid value you can take as assumed mean generally we take the middle mid value of the classes as assumed mean otherwise you can take any mid value we get the same answer so here what is the middle mid value very good children 325 so we can round off 325 and it is the small a we got assumed mean 
and children in the formula one more thing is there di di means deviation of a from each xi so di is got xi minus a we have to subtract this assumed mean from each mid value so what is the first mid value children 225 and what is the assumed mean here 325 so 225 minus 325 the first deviation is minus 100 and the second deviation what is the second mid value very good 275 and what's the assumed mean 325 di is called xi minus a so 225 minus 325 what we get minus 50 that is the second deviation di and the third one what is the third mid value 325 What is the assumed mean itself? 325. So 325 minus 325, we get zero. Uh, This is the third deviation. And uh, the fourth deviation, we get uh, 375 minus 325, we get 50. And the last deviation, we get 425 minus 325, we get 100. We got uh, all deviations di values. In the formula, we have sigma fi di. That is nothing but summation of f5 and di that means we have to find the product of f5 and di in the second column f5 values are there in the fourth column we have di values are there let us take another column fifth column we take f5 di that means we multiply f5 and the corresponding deviation di okay children let us find fi di of each class what is the first frequency 12 what is the first deviation minus 100 so fi into di 12 into minus and what we get children minus 1200 is the first fi di and let us calculate the second fi di what is the second frequency of the second class interval 14 and what is the second deviation minus 50 fi di means 14 into minus 50 we get minus 700 similarly 8 into 0 we get 0 and 6 into 50 we get 300 and similarly 10 into 100 we get 1000 the fi di values we can see in the last column you can see the same thing on the screen they are minus 1200 700 minus 700 0 300 1000 Okay, children. The formula is mean x bar is called a plus sigma f i di by sigma f i. Already we have known a. We write a is equal 325, and we have to find sigma f i di. Sigma f i di means we have to well add all the values of f i di of the last column. Okay, we write sigma f i di is equal. We have to add minus 1200, 700, 0, 300, and 1000. What we get, children? Very good. We get minus 600 here. Okay, we got a is equal to 325. Sigma f i d i is equal to minus 600. And sigma f i. Sigma f i nothing but sum of frequencies. You can see in the second column we have frequencies f i values. The sum of all these frequencies sigma f i is equal to 50. already in the question given the number of workers are 50 we got all the values related to the formula now we apply those values in the formula okay children we write the formula mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di by sigma fi what is the value of a very good 325 let us substitute it plus What is the value of sigma fi di? Very good, minus six hundred. Right, minus six hundred in bracket. By what is the value of sigma fi? Fifty. Very good. Minus six hundred by fifty. Let us cancel zero zero and five one ja five two l ja. Now we get three twenty five plus of minus twelve and three twenty five plus into minus is minus twelve. 325 minus 12. Finally, we get 313. This is the mean daily wages of 50 workers of the factory. Therefore, mean daily wages of the workers is called 
रुपीज थ्री थर्टीन